Okay, what I'm going to do here is change out the battery. This here is a MacBook Pro early 2011 and it is a model number A1286. So the battery is approximately 12 years old. It's running 60%. And the first thing I'm going to do here before I take out screws, and I'm going to make this short, I'm not going to make it a time lapse thing, is these pads are coming off and they leave a hole. So what I'm going to do is tape these up just because I don't want lint, dust, and in my case over here, salt air is in the breeze. So I'm just going to put this on there just because it seals it somewhat. And also if there's a case of ants, and I've seen that happen before, and this guy is going to come out too pretty soon, so I'm just going to take that. So you don't want computer bugs as in actual bugs. Matter of fact, that's where computer bug came from. In those early computers, a moth went in and got fried and it buggered up their system. So that's where the actual name computer bug comes from. An actual bug. So I'm going to do a series of clips on this. Uh, try to be. Okay, this is the battery I got. I basically just searched it for eBay. Search on eBay. Now remember, get a battery that's specific to your model number. In this case, it's a MacBook Pro. And that's the kind I have, which is a early 2011. So this thing is a dinosaur. And since they don't support new software and well old software and old hardware then there you go so I ordered this battery when it came in it actually came in from a mainland place it actually came in from Minnesota Midland and so Ladderman has its own and these things come from China basically and they don't like to package lithium ion batteries. This is a lipo. Yeah, it's lithium ion, basically. They don't like to travel with these things um, in transit because they have a potentiality of blowing up, just like any lipo batteries or lithium. So this one here is just a replacement battery. It's a 312-0740 comma 312-0894 P721C dash ring comma T117C oh, lithium ion okay, well, probably so I hope you got that I'm, I'm putting that I'm putting that in side <coughs> so 11.1 volt 5200 milliampere hour okay and of course they, they send you little tools and you do want to have the right screwdrivers for the job I have a little packet because I've worked on this computer before I am no expert and I highly suggest you use other YouTube tutorials don't just listen to this one because I am not disclaimer I'm just showing you what I'm doing I'm not taking responsibility if you work on your own computer let's make okay now there's here it is the mat it's unplugged it's turned off it's shut down unplugged closed and it flipped over now I just used one of these, these 
little cushions that the battery came with and I put the a little loop of this is a loop of tape this is just basking tape because I don't know about you but I have a tendency to drop those little screws and it drives me bonkers trying to find it now on the hinge part where it has that black plastic these right three are long ones we'll just take one of these out Make sure I have the right driver. Because you don't, you want to be pushing, you want to be pretty careful about especially the initial part of these. The idea is you don't want to strip these. That would be a long one. You don't want to strip them. And I like to keep the same ones in the same hole. <laughs> you know, just, just because, you know, trying to fit that one in and it doesn't go back and then you have another entry point for dust so this is a this is just a backgammon board I'm using as a table it doesn't have like a lot of dust I wash my hands because of no one dirt and hair and if you have pets and this sort of thing so there it is let me just do this and I'll probably speed this stuff up small ones and those are the three ones keep the four on top four by the hinge four in the front and the two side ones so I just have a placement of where those are and there's going to be some more for these so I'm just going to take another little piece of tape this is just so I try not to lose the screws And here we go. Here's the other battery, which is not a fit. What the heck? This is not the right battery. So that's very disappointing. Man, I should have checked on that. This didn't happen at all. Oh well, back to the drawing board. I guess this is a to be continued. Okay, this is part two of the change the laptop battery on my 2011, early 2011 MacBook Pro. I sent away for another battery and here it is. In this box, basically from California. Specialized screwdrivers. Happy? We shall see. If I'm happy, that's the wrong battery. That's for non finger touching. And yes, this looks like the one. I didn't even look at even the general shape. I was so excited to have that battery. This is basically it. Okay. It is a... Come on, it is. Okay. Doesn't say. Nice box. Okay. Nope. I'm going to open up the back. I shut it off. Unplugged it. Powered it down. But you've already seen me open this up and you've seen probably a thousand videos of this nature. 
Okay, this is what it's looking like without the back cover again. Old battery's still in. There's one, two, and the third one is right in the corner. That's a little bit tricky. So there's three screws. Here's the battery. Here's the one screw, and here's the second screw right in the middle. And there's the third. I'll do a close up on that. Don't forget to use the tri prong thing because these only have a three slot screw. I kind of just press down a little bit just to get it a little bit loosened. Try to hold it in place because. I'm going to be extra careful not to be stripping threading on these. So constant pressure directly down is preferable. And these screws have a, about a length like that. I have a place where I'm putting them so I don't lose them with their magneticness. And there's two. And we're going to take on this thing. And the third one. Okay. So here's the cable that goes to the hard drive. And it's way on this end here. So I'm getting that. So this little flap right here. Okay. Where is it? There it is. See it's underneath there. It's all the way it just river. It's the very corner of the battery. turned off and all that before and yippee this one comes with a little puller so you don't have to get in there and get too much dust and also I've, I've done this with my fingernails before on one side other side there it is okay flaps up alrighty <clears throat> I'm going to try about grounding too this battery was backing up so much to the degree that it was a bit tilted forward. It was, it was at 61%, it's about 8 years old. Probably the next to the original. That's what you do with that. Those memory chips. Okay, so here's the old battery. This is a new battery. Keeping it in there for I'm just gonna put a little contact painter. <laughs> ventilated because it's hot and also this should have a little bit of ventilation this stuff stinks has a infinite evaporation I wouldn't use I was told not to use 70% alcohol because the 30% is water Like it's expanding. 
that's what happens. I've seen these LiPo batteries get to be that way. Alright, and it just snugs in under these. Three of them. Get in like that. Make sure this is uh, try not to touch with your fingers. It's just also just the old grease and dirt. Oils on the finger. Okay. Getting a snug fit, I'm not sure if this is like snug in there. Okay, it's fitting right. Alright. Let's anchor in one of these. I don't know what's saying show what's showing on here. Clockwise first before so you get that those threads to register. Well, okay, that one's nice. Okay, mildly mildly snug. This is the this is the weird one. Okay. Wallet singing to me. Mine cryptos. Mine away. Alright, relatively. I'm going to make that a little bit more snug since these are aligning and it's registered. And, uh, That's in there. Now, oh, I don't have my little, shit. that little paper. Okay, well, whatever. I'm just gonna try not to get threads and stuff. Actually, I'm just see if I can. Check some of these in case they got loosened. They look okay. That's the battery in. Secured and reconnected. I'll spare you the high speed screw the battery. Alright, let's put the cover back. That exciting on all right there it is it's just in there that's it and even plug it in I'm just going to oh boy let's see if there's anything on the battery enough to 
power up. So, we're gonna plug it in. And let's try one more time. So. Of course it should work, because it's plugged in. Loaded. Because it was powered down. All right. I'm gonna see if I can try. Okay, 2% plugged in. And the clock. The battery was taken out, so the, the residual power that keeps the clock running in the background, even if your computer's off. So that has to be all reset. That's okay. 2%, it powered up, and it's charging. If I can do one more thing here. Uh, get one of these. This has been going for a bit. This is a little battery check. So now my old battery had health of 60 to 61%. Discharge 2%, auto percent health. All right. Can go up to its max charge. Status, age. This battery is two and a half years old. I guess it was sitting on the shelf for a while. It was manufactured two years ago. But everything else is just, yeah, knee slapping, ha ha, brand new. Yeah, I think that's it right now. I guess.